Hi students, so myself Vikas Agarwal, Master Teacher of Vedantu and with me I'm Surinth Jain, Master Teacher of Vedantu So guys, we are here to explain you the second page of this portal In the previous video, we explained about the college branch metrics If you have not seen that video, please watch that video first and then you can come back to this video In this video, we are going to talk about the second page which is the placement page here So, this page contains data on placement of colleges from where we have extracted this data this data has been extracted from NIRF which is National Institute of Ranking Framework so that's an uh, organization that ranks the colleges it's a government body and the colleges send their information to this body and based on the information sent this body ranks the colleges so the ranking for 2021 were out recently so from there we obtained the data and we are presenting here with you now, why we are doing this? Because we keep receiving queries from students regarding the placement data of the colleges and we thought that it would be prudent of us to actually present this data before you. So, therefore, we are doing that. Uh, the data that you are going to see here will be corresponding to a particular college. Like, it will not correspond to a particular branch. For example, if IIT Kharagpur offers, let's say, 20 courses or it has, let's say, 20 departments, then the data that you will see will not correspond to one particular department. It will be the average value of all the students who were placed in those 20 departments. Yes. So keep that in mind. That's a very important piece uh, of information to keep in mind before you start interpreting the data. So that means if a college is having only two branches, yes. say computer science and electronics. Yes. And there is one more college which is having say 15 branches including civil, mechanical, ocean engineering, metallurgy. So that second college which is having 15 branches, that that placement data which, which we are going to show, that will be average of those 15. Yes, exactly sir. But sir, then how can we compare these two data, corresponding data? Because that is only for computer science and electronics yes, yes. and that is supposed to be higher. Yes. And because that second college is showing, giving you the data average value for all the branches. Yes. So what, how it can be helpful? So, uh, very rightly pointed out sir, for example, the triple IDs, they offer only courses which are pertaining to computer science and information uh, technology and artificial intelligence. So, the packages in these branches tends to be relatively higher. Yeah. Now, if we compare, uh, you know, any popular triple IT with let's say one of the IITs, one of the old IITs in fact, if Kharagpur for, ex uh, for example, which offers courses in a large number of branches, like in a large number of departments, it has agriculture department, it has ocean engineering and naval architecture, metallurgy and uh, biotechnology, all kind of uh, departments which are not that popular and therefore the average value of the placement data will come down for Kharagpur as compared to triple IT. But this is what you need to understand, this is what you have to keep in mind that uh, simply comparing the average value may not be a very wise thing to do. How this data can be useful for you? At times you are faced with situation where the colleges have comparable number of departments or branches. Yeah. Or for example, if two colleges A and B, they have similar number of branches. One is offering 14 branches, the other one is offering 15 branches. Majority of them are common also. Then comparing their placement data will make a sense. Okay. So that is one thing that you have to keep in mind. The other thing is that sometimes you, uh, you know, this is especially relevant for students who secure lower, lower ranks in the exam. So they have to actually choose from the colleges which are not that popular like they have to go with uh, lower NITs or maybe GFTIs. So at that time, uh, you know, going through the brochures of the colleges and going through the uh, information available on the net, it appears that a college may be very good, but actually the placement data will tell you the real story. Like it yeah. may, So if you see that the two colleges differ significantly in their placement data, then it will become easier for you to decide which between the two you should choose. So basically the information available is like the information we are presenting before you and we are leaving it up to you to decide how to make best possible use of this information. So I yeah. think there is one more thing in this placement data. It also tells you the percentage of students placed. Yes. That can be a very important very. number for any college. Yes. If some college is giving 90% placement yes. and some is giving only 50% placement. Yes. So that can be something that convey yes. important information this. which you can use for your counseling purpose. Yes, so this is a very important information because I remember during my four years of BTEC, 
I was relaxed only because I knew that my college gives more than 90% of placement. So yeah. I was relaxed that I do not fall in the bottom 10% of the students. Yeah. So hence I was convinced that I will ultimately yeah. get a job offer. And therefore I was able to enjoy my four years of VTEC. So I think that's a very important uh, uh, parameter which we will be presenting for you for all the colleges that we could get from so NIR data. Just start showing the data. Yes, okay. yes sir. So if I click on this page, uh, this is what appears at first. Now. There are multiple filters that I can select, but, but instead of doing that, if I simply hit the search button, then I see all the data that is present with us. Okay. Okay. Uh, sir, I can see Assam University Silchar at multiple rows. What is that? Okay. So, sir, uh, this Assam University Silchar, you will see its name in six different rows. Okay. And this is true for every college. For example, if we go to the next college, uh, the, the name will appear six times. If I go to the next college again, the name will again appear six times. So the idea is that every college will have six rows corresponding to it. So if we are dealing with 110 colleges, we will have six 60 rows in totality. Now, why six rows? Because we are presenting three years data, 2018, 2019 and 2020 data we are presenting. And for every year, we are presenting the UG four-year data and the UG five-year data. That means UG four-year data are the BTEC courses, like students who did BTEC, uh, what was the average placement that they got and students who opted for five-year courses like integrated MSc courses and integrated, uh, you know, dual degree courses like BTEC MTEC yeah. courses. So what package they received. So for every college, we are showing three year data and we are splitting every year data into UG four year and UG five year. So three into two, so six combinations are there. So we are addressing that. Okay. Yeah. So that means I can compare also how 18 to 19 to 20, that placement data has changed. Yes. I think that exactly. we can use this for that purpose also. Exactly, sir. So if we have a look at the columns that we are getting here, the college name is here, the college type is here, then the year for which we are reflecting the data, then UG four year or UG five year that is being told the total number of students who were uh, who sat in the placement for that particular year. This placement percentage shows how many percent of this number were placed. For example, here the total uh, student count is 82. Out of these 82, approximately 15 percent of these 82 students were placed. So that would be around 12 students. So from 82. From a bunch of 82 students, 12 students got placement in 2018. Okay, okay? and out of these 82, approximately 28 percent of the students. So that would be somewhere around 22 uh, or 23 students, mm -hmm. I think. All right. So those many students went for higher studies. All right. So that actually tells you about the college. Uh, some some story about the college. This is the average package uh, that were received by these students in 2018 year. So this is the data that is present here. Sir, why this no NIRF data we are showing? Okay, so there are actually, uh, you know, different, different kind of tags that you are able to see here. So, sir, for some colleges, the data was not present neither at the NIRF website nor at the website of the college. So basically, this data was not available in public domain at all. Okay. The college did not present this data to anyone. All right. So at those places, we have written no NIRF data. Okay. At places where uh, you know the, the column does not is not applicable. For example, if there is no data existing, I cannot calculate the percentages. Mm -hmm. So at those places we have put not applicable. Okay, and yeah, so these are the two things that there are some zeros also that I can see. Now, what are the zeros here? So uh, for some cases, the colleges gave zero as the number as the input to NIRF. For example, if uh, I am not having a five-year course. Some colleges may have opted to omit the details of five year courses and some colleges may have gave zero input there. So what we have done, we have simply replicated the data that we could find from the NRF website. So if the college did not present the data, we have used no INRF data tag. And if the college did present the data, but the college presented it as a zero, then we have reflected the zero here. So basically we have not tinkered with the data. Uh, whatever was available on the NRF, we have simply copied it here and we have used it. So, sir, how can I use as a student this data? Suppose I have to take admission in some NIT. Okay. So, how can I use this? So, please explain some that. Okay. So, if if we want to go for an NIT, 
okay what we can do we can go here and we can select the nit okay and if i hit the search button then now whatever data i can see is belongs to nits only so now i'm able to see the nit the, the placement data of all the 31 nits so if you ask me right now i think i'll be looking at 31 into 6 so that should be 186 rows so i'm looking at 186 rows right now which also looks like an overwhelming number to me right now okay but still if uh right from this data if i want to do something here you can you know sort with the average package for example if i go with uh, uh this sorting so i can see that the motilal nehru national institute of technology in 2020 this particular college gave the highest average package and that value was 11 lakh 59 thousand so this sorting thing you can use so any anything that you would like to and add that. i think here you can see the number of students also so that question we were discussing in the beginning that if we can compare two college or not so if these two colleges are having same number of students in them yeah. i think this will make some sense yes definitely yeah. yes if some other college is having less number of students let us say only 110 and students in nit delhi and the package is 8 lakh so if i go with this number 8 lakh here and let us say this 11 lakh 15 9 thousand here it yes. looks comparable yeah. but if i go with the number of students also then this number is not comparable so you can yes. that way make some conclusion from these numbers yes. so, for example right now what i could conclude from this data if nit delhi is having less number of students then most probably it is having less number of branches if it is having less number of branches it's the more likelihood that it would be having branches such as cs electronics electrical yeah. and mechanical so after having only these branches if the average value is 8 lakh and this college having you know all kind of branches and then it is giving me a package of 11 lakh 59 thousand this must be a better college from the daily one because if i simply take the average value of the top branches of this college the value will become more than this also yeah. so the difference becomes significant so i think uh, so this is how you can draw logical conclusions from this data okay yes sir and uh, i think same way we can go for iit is also gft is also yes the same way we can uh, select any category of colleges and we can have a look at the data okay right now here also uh, let's say if i say that i why, why should i look at the previous two years data i just want to have a look at 2020 data so you can just go here and you can just select 2020 i think i've selected two years so yeah and you can search so now you would be looking at uh, data of only 2020 so whatever number of rows i earlier had 186 i have now divided that by three yeah so now i'm looking at 62 rows and in, in this ug4 year yeah UG4 now year. in this also if i say that i'm only interested in btech data all right I, i'm like four year data so i can select four year and i can search now i would be looking at 31 rows so this is how you can use this particular page uh, anything that you would like to add so can i uh, say that the student the college which is having more placement data having higher average package will be ranked one then two then three is it okay is it good to conclude i wouldn't say that uh, okay. you should do that because again the number of students sitting varies percentage placement varies number of branches varies so with all these parameters different simply by comparing the average package uh, assigning ranks or assigning a priority order to a college may not be the prudent mm -hmm. thing to do i think there is one more thing that um, some of for some of you this average package may not matter you may like to go for higher studies yes. so that can also be important data i think i remember if you um, select iit here only iit only iit okay and if i select search it here 2020 and UG are already selected yeah already so now if i for this higher study we can see iit kanpur is on the top yes okay and if we go for that average package i think iit kanpur may not be at the top you can see iit guwahati is seen on the top if we go for average package yes. so these two different parameters are giving a different ranking for different colleges so that means going only with average package is not a good thing to go yes. for that college yeah you should also keep your preferences in mind like yeah. whether you want to go for higher studies or whether you want to go for job straight away after completing your graduation that can also be a, a you know factor in deciding that uh, the order of the colleges okay yeah. 
but still it looks like that will be very helpful data for any student to uh, get some conclusion definitely yeah. see uh, student have this uh, curiosity to know the placement data of the colleges so i think this is something substantial this is something that the student can come to and have a check at least a preliminary check like uh, it's better than being totally ignorant to come here mm -hmm. and to check the data that that would be the right thing to do i think after your result is over in fact, after your exam is over, this J advanced exam is over, you have plenty of time to do all such, such research and this is one of the key parameters that will help you to decide which college you should go. Yes, definitely. So. Yeah. So I think this is all about this or anything else you want I to I think we are done with the placement page. Okay. So we will now move to our next video in which we are going to talk about the ranking page.